Welcome. This is my instructional video for section 17.3, Rotations. Okay, so here we go. So this comes right out of your textbook, which you can find online, of course. Uh, rotations. Now we do 90, 180, 270, and 360. Now here's how this works in math. I'm going to come down this diagram right here. I'm going to find a color that's light. Uh, let's do the gray. So this here is like zero degrees. And now here's how we do this is we do in math. Okay, so if you're looking at a compass, like I was a pilot at one time. So, you know, north is a heading of 360. This is 90 degrees down here. This is 180 degrees, which is south, 270, which is west, and then back to 360. So in the real world, when we do a compass, we go clockwise. That's positive. Hey, in math... I don't know why. You know, north starts up here at the top. That's zero degrees. In math, the positive x-axis is zero, and positive rotation is uh, counterclockwise. That's positive rotation. So when you go 90 degrees this way, that's a 90-degree rotation. And then 180 and 270 and 360 is all the way around. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, now this makes kind of a swastika thing. Okay, kids make fun of that. But this is an easy way to do this. So if I have any point like 2, 5 here, all I do is the change in Y, change in X. Or you could do, you can make it go the other way. You could go change in X, change in Y. I'm going to make this L shape. Okay. And then it's easy to tell when I do my rotations with the L shape. So we do a 90 degree rotation. Let me get my color back here. Okay. So we're going to do a 90 degree rotation like this. So notice this is a length of 5, the vertical change, the horizontal change is 2. So when we do a 90 degree rotation, now the 5 is going to be horizontal, the 2 is going to be the vertical. So they switch. And notice here, like in the rule, it says, hey, x goes to negative y and y goes to x. Well, they switch. So 2, 5 goes to 5, 2. But notice the x now is opposite. So that's what this says. x is the opposite of y. y goes to whatever x was. <clears throat> and then we do another rotation like here. So again, so now this is the 5 and the 2, right? The 5 is horizontal, the 2 is vertical. We do another 90-degree rotation. Now the 5 is back to being vertical, and the 2 is back to being horizontal. But it's across the origin from the original point. So 180-degree rotation, basically, hey, x is, negative, is 2 and goes to negative 2, y is 5, goes to negative 5. So just what this says, x, y becomes negative x, comma, negative y. And then we do another 90 degree rotation. We end up going like this. And so from, this is a 270 now. <clears throat> and then from 2 comma 5, now where the vertical is 5 and the horizontal is 2, now we're back to where the vertical is 5, or the horizontal is 5, and the vertical is 2. So, and notice 2 goes to 5, and 5 goes to negative 2. So x goes to y, and y goes to the opposite of x. And then, of course, if you do a 360 rotation, it goes back to 2, 5. The 5 is uh, vertical, the 2 is horizontal, so x, y goes to x, y. There's the rule. So if you, if you have to do this by memorizing rules, there you go. There's some rules to memorize. I just think draw the pictures way easier. I do not like memorizing rules. Because if you memorize the rule, it's short term. You don't do the problem for three weeks, you'll forget the rule. That's just how life works. That's how the human brain works, actually. Okay, draw the image of the finger and give her rotation. We're going to rotate about the origin. They don't say that, but they should say we're going to rotate about the origin 270 degrees. So basically, here we go. So 270. So this is up to like this. So 270 would be uh, 90, 180, 270. Here's A prime right here. And then B is up 4 over 1. So we rotate 90. That'll be a f over 4, up 1. Rotate Another 90 to 180, that'll be down 4 over 1. Rotate another 90, that'll be a total of 270. So over 4, down 1, like this. There's B prime. And then C is up 2 over, actually let's do it this way. Let's go over uh, 4, up 2. So we rotate 90, so it's over up 4, I mean over 2. We rotate another 90, now it'll be over 4 and down 2. We rotate another 90. Now it'll be down 4 and to the right. So there's C prime. And then D, <clears throat> over 3 and up 1. So we rotate 90, so now it's up 3 over 1. Rotate 90, over 3, down 1. Rotate another 90, down 3, over 1. 
there's D prime. So we're going to get the line drawing tool, pick a darker color, and we're going to draw the line. So A prime to B prime, B prime to C prime, C prime to D prime, and then D prime back to A prime. It's like, yeah, that looks like it's been rotated 270 degrees about the origin. Yeah, that's the ticket. Okay, I like the gray. The gray worked out pretty well. Let's go light blue. Maybe that worked a little better this time. Okay, we're going to go to the pen, and we're going to go light blue. And here we go. We're going to take triangle KLM and rotate 180 degrees. So basically, from the origin, we're like over 2 and down 1. So 90 degrees is going to be up 2, 1 to the right. Another 90 degrees is going to be over 2 and up 1. And there's a 180 degree rotation, and that's K prime. Okay, and then L prime. It's like over 4, down 1. So I rotate that 90 degrees. That's going to be up 4, over 1. Rotate that another 90. It'll be over 4 like this, up 1. Boom. There's L prime. And then M. M is down 4, over 1. Rotate 90. Over 4, up 1. Rotate 90 from there. Up 4, over 1. Boom. There's M prime. Now I'm going to go a dark color with the line drawing tool. Then line. We're going to do K prime to L prime. L prime to M prime. M prime to K prime. Boom. Looks like it's been rotated 100 degrees. By the way, when you go back to the rule, for 180 degree rotation, XY goes to negative X, negative Y. So here we go. This is, um, oops, wrong one. Here we go. Here's a 180 degree rotation. This is 2, negative 1. That goes to, so 2, negative 1. The opposite of that for both would be negative 2, positive 1. Hey, negative 2, positive 1 for k prime. L is 4, comma, negative 1. So we go to opposite both of those. That's going to be negative 4, comma, positive 1. And then M here is 1, comma, negative 4. I'll take the opposite of both of those. That's going to be negative 1, comma, positive 4. Boom, M prime. So you could use the rule, get you the same three points, we're good. Okay, now we're going to go 90 degree rotation for triangle PQR. I'm going to go back to my writing mode. I like the light blue. Actually, let's do the green here. See how that works. So here we go, over 2, up 1. So I make that kind of L shape for P. We're going to rotate 90 degrees. So when I rotate this up 90, it's going to be up 2, over 1 this way. There's P prime. And then over 4, up 1, for Q. So that means I'm going to go up 4 and over 1 this way for Q prime. And then R is down 3, over 4. So I rotate 90 degrees. That's going to be over 3, up 4. This intersection here. There's R prime. So, Q prime to P prime, P prime to R prime, R prime back to Q prime. Boom, there's this guy, rotated 90 degrees. Pretty sexy. Okay, quadrilateral, quadrilateral DEFG, we're going to rotate 270. Okay, I'm going to scroll up a little bit, get the image better placed. <clears throat> we'll go for our last color, which is that kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, kind of weird green. So D here, D here is over 3, up 1. So we're going to rotate 270. So it'll be uh, down 3, back 1 this way, over 3, back 1 that way, and 270 will be up 3, back 1 this way. So there's D prime. So I took this kind of L-shaped thing like this. I took that guy, and I rotated it around. So we rotate it 90. Really. And it comes down here. We rotate another 90. So it shows up here. We rotate it the third 90 from the origin here. Bam. And it shows up right here. There we go. Oh, I moved that back. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do uh, E. So over one, down one like that. Boom, there's E. So I rotate that 90, that's going to be over 1, down 1 here. And then I'm going to rotate that 90, that's going to be over 1, up 1 there. 
and then I rotate that 90 for the third 90 it's going to be up one over one like this so there is E prime <clears throat> I think okay so here's right here where the corner arrow is that's my origin right so we're going to rotate it 90 another 90 and another 90 and then we're going to put this corner where the arrow is on the origin and boom there's e prime there's a nice picture of that and then g so g is over three and down three so how about over three down three that or down three over three this way and then we're going to go Wait a second, over three, down three, short pointing to the rotation. Over three, or down three, over three, over three, up three, and then up three, over three, this way. I need to be in the marker. So up three, over three, like this. This is G prime. Okay, part of that is I'm just freaking visualizing this. So let's try that with a marker here. So over three, up, down three, like that. Okay, so there's G from the origin. I'm going to rotate it 270 degrees. So there's 90, like that, 180, 270, and again, the corner, this is the guy that was at the origin where the drop down arrow was. Okay, and it's taking me up three over three, G prime. Boom. And then F. So the fact, let's just draw that. So F is going to be over 1, down 4. Boom. Okay, and then the, the origin is where the drop-down arrow is. So I'm going to rotate 90, which would put it like there. Another 90, which would put it right about there. And then another 90, which would put F prime right here. F prime. Okay, and then I'm going to take my line drawing tool, do the, the blue with the very fine line. So we're going to go F, F prime to E prime, E prime to D prime, D prime to G prime, G prime back to F prime. And there you can see, yeah, that looks like a rotation. Because if I rotate this whole guy, whoops, not that guy. Let's go here. Connect. I gotta connect these. Okay. So this line. Nope. It's not what I freaking want. I want this line. This line here. Nope. It's not gonna let me take the lines individually. Line. 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 Nope. It won't let me pull this line down. That's so irritating. There it is, finally. Nope. Okay. Now we're going to group that. Now, notice when I rotate this 90 and slide it down here, translate. Ah, oh, that's the original object. Yeah, baby. Okay, so it looks like our rotation. Muy bien. Yeah. Okay, I think that was it. Yep, that's the last problem. So, in poor English, we be done. So, I'm thinking that was all about rotations. Pretty much, I explained how to do it best I could. Gave four example problems. After that, probably need to come for tutoring, and we need to figure out what you don't know and just kind of build on that. So, if you need that, come see me individually. Other than that, have a good day. Ciao.